Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Family Feud PowerPoint using the template that I have on my site. So go to the site, download it, and uh, check out how to edit it and use it, and uh, just some tips on some things that people have had problems with in the past, so I'll explain it all, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. So you just go to my site, which is youthdownload.com, site for all different uh, youth ministry things, but I got a game on here, which is a PowerPoint game. Go here, click, click this button. Um, it's going to ask you to, basically it's a, it's a pay what you want price, so minimum price is $0, so you want to pay $0, pay $0. So I can put email address at gmail.com and uh, put a 0 right here, continue, and it's going to say uh, get download in link, click that, and then I'm going to head over to my Gmail. So we go. Okay, we got. Uh, it says thank you for your payment of zero dollars. Uh, click download. So I click this. And it's just going to bring up a little download thing right here. And uh, as soon as that downloads, we'll open that up. So yeah, I just have on the side a bunch of different uh, resources and things. And um, all right, so we'll open this. Uh, show in folder. Um, there it is. This is what it looks like. Open it up here. I'm gonna click this. Enable editing. Um, enable content. It's kind of you need to have this thing enabled for it to work. Um, and then just to show you a quick sample of what it does, I'm gonna go to slideshow from beginning. Things are going to come up here for the question that you want, and then the basically typical superpower you're going to have kids or whoever answer the questions. So let's say somebody says, you know, flying. Okay, we got it. All right. Um, let's say they said um, something that's not a superpower that's not on your list. You can hit strike, strikes, strikes, and then they get some, you know, then they get the steal, however you want to play it. Um, so, yeah, you can go to the next slide, click it anywhere, and you can be careful if you don't want to go too far next, and then you actually hit your back arrow button, not on the mouse, but on your keyboard, if you hit back, what it's going to do is it's going to go to the round before, but it's going to show you, actually it's going to just show you all the answers for this round, so stay away from your back arrow key on your uh, keyboard. Um, Alright, so I'm going to end this show, I'm going to get out of here, and... Uh, in the show, go back here and show you how to edit it. All right, so a lot of people ask me, okay, how do I change the question? How do I change the um, answers that come up here? So the easy way is you just select that round, round one that you want to. And you want to make sure that you're zoomed out. So once you're zoomed out, you can kind of see where everything is located. This is the bar that comes that slides up. Um, so if you want to put your own logo in here, you could. You could put across like you know the uh, Johnson family feud or something like that. If you were doing it for a reunion. Um, so anyways. If I go here and I just, you know, highlight this and I say, okay, let's say you're, uh, let's say you're at a school and your teacher, you're doing a teacher appreciation thing for a guy named Mr. Smith. Um, so let's say you want to do Mr. Smith, you know, famous words or one-liners. No, it's flip words. Mr. Smith's favorite words. All right, so what you're going to do, you, that will edit your question, and you go in here and uh, zoom back in a little bit. And you are going to edit. Okay, let's say he loves saying, you know, wow. That's the first his answer. Everyone knows that this teacher always says that. And let's say he always uses the word awesome. If I could type, let's say he uses the word super. Let's say he likes saying bro a lot. And, uh, and then lastly, we'll say if he says, you know, grump, lessened. <laughs> kind of spelled them terribly wrong, but there's an S there, but it won't fit. Um, grump, lessened. So we're going to take that out, whatever. All right. Um, so then what's going to happen is if I go to view the show, Words. And some 
is going to be like, oh, he always says, wow. And you're like, okay, yeah, survey says, you got it. It's obviously a so You go all the way through that, scrum shoot lessons. And, uh, and I'm going to end the show. And you can just go to the next round, but I'm going to end the show. So um, the other question I get all the time is, how do I change these numbers? So it's easy. You just go in here and you just click these and, and change them however you want. Um, so it's not going to probably affect this up here, I don't think. Um, but let's say I go to, you just change this to 20, change this to 19. I think in the actual game, they're supposed to equal 100. So um, you might check on here, 19, and then another one would be like 18 or whatever that adds up to. Um, so it adds up to 100. And then the other question I get all the time is, um, how do I add more answers right here, like in this spot or this spot or this spot? Um, you can't do that with that template, but what you can do is you can, um, well, maybe you can if you figure it out, but I'm going to tell you how to do the easy way. And the easy way is to uh, just find the template that has the number that you want to work with. So like this one right here has eight. This one right here has six. Um, this one has five. So I think those are the only options, five, six, and eight in this one right here. Um, so then what you would do if you had, if Mr. Smith had eight answers that he always said, then what you would do is do this, duplicate this slide, and then bring it up here, put it up top, change the round to round one, and then put it all in there however you would want to put it. So that way you can definitely have a, uh, a template that has eight answers. Um, then you'd want to get rid of this one because um, now you have round one, round two, go like that. So that's basically the way you do it. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I would say just make sure you get it, practice it, get really good at it. Um, so that way you're not, uh, you know, revealing answers. And you don't want to click really anywhere when you're actually in the show, except for on the buttons or else it'll advance the slide. Um, so I think that's about it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy the uh, template. And uh, send me an email or something. Let me know how it worked out. I'd love to hear if you had a good time with it. So thanks a lot. Have a good one.